Welcome to this edition of my Fireside Chat. Today we have a very special guest. Each day, Delta State alumnus David Abney and his wife Sherry generously donate their time and treasure to support and sponsor our annual International Business Symposium on campus. This marks the 12th year for this event, which has been held uh, this past week. And it's a wonderful opportunity for our students and faculty in the community to learn from and interact with top business leaders and we appreciate everyone who gives their time to make it such a successful event. David is the CEO and chairman of UPS. He started his career in 1974 as a part-time package loader at the UPS facility in Greenwood, Mississippi, while he was an undergraduate student here at Delta State. He has lived the American dream of working his way up from a package loader all the way to the top seat in his company. David held various other operational positions at UPS along the way, including being president of UPS International, where he led the expansion of the company's global logistics capabilities. He was named Delta State's Outstanding Alumnus of the Year in 2007 and received an honorary doctorate from Delta State in May of 2015. Dr. Abney <laughs> has been an active ambassador for the university throughout his career, and he serves as a model for the ways that an alumnus can give back to his alma mater. He serves on our foundation board, and he provides our students today with great opportunities for success. David, thanks for joining us today, and thanks for all you do for Delta State all these many years, and appreciate your coming back very much. Tell us a little bit, if you will, about what you shared with the students this year in the symposium. Well, you know, the, uh, the, the symposium, the theme this year was about business innovation. And basically what I was telling them is that without business innovation, business are not going to survive anymore. It's the lifeblood of uh, the key to success. The world is changing, it's changing rapidly. If we don't innovate, we're going to be not nearly as relevant in a very short period of time. So couldn't have been a better topic and, and I really felt like the students were really interested and, and got a lot out of the messages yesterday. That is great. Now, you and Sherry have been so wonderful to support this program, uh, literally and figuratively, for a dozen years. What motivated you to do that? What, what uh, stimulated your thinking that this would be something that would be valuable here? You know, I, I just think that the students that Delta State serves, that uh, they deserve a chance. They deserve to know that they can do things maybe no one in their family has ever done before. And that Delta State and getting the education that they have here is a start. So the real purpose of the International Symposium is to show people that have been successful in the world and let the students say, see that there's not much difference between them and that they also can have success. Well, you're such a great exemplar for our students. You studied business here and went on for a long and illustrious career. You're at the peak of that career right now. Um, how did you feel Delta State prepared you for that? You know, I really think of three words. First one is confidence. And, uh, I got a lot of confidence here because I had, uh, no one in my family had ever graduated from college. So when I first started, could I do this? You know how you feel. And when I was able to do it, that did give me a lot of confidence that carried on. And then second was organization skills. And uh, you know, through high school, I didn't need to be organized, right? I could wing my way through. I found out here, this was much more the big time. And if I didn't get organized, I'm not so sure that I would have made it. And third, and this is one that's most important, it's carried me throughout my career, is the intellectual curiosity that I learned when I was here, because you never know everything you need to know. And those who are most successful, the ones that are going to be curious the rest of their lives, wanting to learn more and continually developing themselves, all of that, I believe, I got a solid foundation here from Delta State. Spot on. Now, when the student on campus walks up to you and says, I'm interested in business, I'm interested in doing what you're doing someday, maybe, uh, what do you tell them? What, why should they become part of the Business College at Delta State? Well, the reason I think they should become a part of the Business College is I think opportunity starts here. I really do. My opportunity started here. I think it could be the same for them. What I really talk to them about, though, is I understand you want a, a job uh, maybe at a big company or running a smaller company. You got to be willing to do the things it takes to get there. Sometimes newer generation, they can think opportunity is going to be handed to them. 
And one of the things we talk about in the symposium is you have to make your opportunities. And I believe if the students could get that out of this, it'd be well worthwhile. Thank you for your dedication and loyalty to Delta State, and we appreciate all you do for us. Okay, thank Thanks you. Thanks for being with me today. Appreciate it. You bet. In other news, it's Greek Week on campus, and there are a number of events planned for our Greek organizations. Uh, I'm a member of a Greek organization myself, and I'm very proud of the Greek system here on campus. Our fraternities and sororities do a lot to provide our students with extracurricular activities, a social existence on campus, opportunities for leadership, and they do a lot of great work in the philanthropy area. To find out more about what's going on with Greek Week, just contact our Office of Student Life at 662-846-4666 or check the Student Life social media accounts. And on Wednesday, April 5th, the U.S. Army's Concert Band and Soldiers Chorus will perform at the Bologna Performing Arts Center. That event is set for 7 o'clock in the evening. It's free and open to the public, but tickets are required. So to get your tickets and for information, contact the BPAC Ticket Office at 662 846-4626. And as always, to keep up with all of our events and news and activities on campus, visit us please at our deltastate.edu website. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you the next time on Fireside Chat.